The Office of Naval Research. Revolutionary research, relevant results. The Universal Gateway, speed to know. ONR has developed a prototype Universal Gateway that will improve the sharing of data between a ship's combat system and command and control system networks. If we're going to shorten the kill chain, the commanders have to have access to the data they need when they need it, regardless of what the source was, who collected it, or when it was collected. This gateway uh, will be able to provide the decision makers um, information that they need when they need it. The Universal Gateway provides a path towards the Navy's vision of information dominance. Present data systems are frequently not interconnected. In many situations, uh, we would have a, a standalone stovepipe system uh, that may be producing or receiving relevant needed information, but we could not distribute it to the users and decision makers that needed it. The Universal Gateway will reduce the number of interconnections on ships. For example, destroyers and cruisers in a carrier strike group presently coordinate the readiness of their weapons and sensors by voice or by chat. Mistakes can be made with chat because there is a man in the loop, and chat plus multiple gateways costs extra time and money. And a real advantage is on the combat side. Prior to the Universal Gateway, data wasn't easily moved from the command and control system to the combat side. That's really what the gateway does, is it helps the combat system get its data out and get access to that global information grid content. The Universal Gateway will be network-centric, which means the battle commander will have secure, unimpeded, instant access to all Navy assets anytime, anyplace, anywhere, eliminating the multiple standalone or person-to-person -person infrastructure of today. So we have a real potential there to reduce cost. A gateway focus is to take Navy readiness right down to the second. For example, the second a torpedo launches from an MH-60, the report will go from the combat system side through the gateway to the C-2 side and then to the aircraft carrier. It will then be made available to the combat commander who immediately recognizes he has one fewer torpedo. And the universal gateway is an essential piece of the future. America's adversaries are embracing a strategy of anti-access area denial, A2AD, to counter American power projection. Data access will be a key component for future success. The Universal Gateway enables us to move data accurately and, and securely and uh, rapidly across these disparate networks in a way to be able to help support those types of air-sea battle, A2AD, anti-access area denial decisions in tough regional scenarios. The air-sea battle of the future will also require new levels of joint integration between the Navy and Air Force to attack in depth into enemy defenses. And the Universal Gateway is paving the way towards that integration. So it really is moving to a network force. To test the Universal Gateway, ONR conducted experiments at the Naval Surface Warfare Center in Dahlgren, Virginia. We've had two major experiments with Gateway. ONR plans to conduct additional experiments using hardware only. Upcoming experiments will include the command and control side and will include common control services for unmanned systems and expanding battlefield tool, and will include the U.S. Army and Air Force. I think the way we've collaborated with ONR on the Gateway has been a really good example of how we should be transitioning S&T, science and technology. A key component of development is security. One of the big concerns our combat systems have now is cyber defense. The fact that you have one place where you're moving data so you can apply a lot more security, a lot more information assurance to that one than have to put it across 30. Future planning includes putting the software into the Navy's consolidated afloat networks and enterprise services and installing it on a carrier, a delivery that will put instant access to crucial data in the hands of the sailor. I believe this gateway uh, would greatly uh, increase our ability to transmit that data and deliver it to the decision makers uh, that need to see it in real time. For more information, contact the Office of Naval Research.